In the summer of 1980, Dallas fans around the world were in a frenzy to find out who shot JR. When the episode that revealed who shot JR came to Britain, it was kept under armed guard until broadcast. We were recognized wherever we were every day of our lives in over a hundred countries around the world. Even in the most remote corners of the Middle East, Dallas was beloved. Crossing the deserts and, and seeing a sign being held connected by two camels saying, Welcome Dallas. I mean, it was mind-boggling. The actors were mobbed. And they were all yelling, Doosty, 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 Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. Again, huh? Don't you get it? You did this to me. You and your father. No, Mama. You did this to yourself. You're so busy seeing the ghost of JR and me that you cannot stop to take a hard look in the damn mirror. You want me to take responsibility for my actions? And you take responsibility for yours. I'm an alcoholic. And I will be until I die. Think 25 or 30 years ahead. I won't be here then. And the fight won't be between J.R. and Bobby. It'll be between John Ross and Christopher. Think carefully, Sue Ellen. Daddy didn't build this company just for you and me. He expected it to be around for his grandkids. Maybe their kids, too. You know, your granddaddy taught me everything I know about this business. He'd be so proud if he knew I was doing the same with you. I spent my whole life trying to get him to notice me. Trying to get him to love me. But he was never gonna love me more than he makes your family. I know I haven't acted like it, but I really do love you, family. That was the day I knew I wanted to marry you. We've wasted too much of our lives not being together. And I don't want to waste another minute without you, Elena. Look, Rebecca and I are done. I'm going to be a father to my children, but it is over between us. Forever. I know you gave this back to me. But it's yours. It's always been yours. We got through this as a family. We're much stronger together than we can ever be apart, Sue and I hope you can see that and that you'll make things right. I'm just looking out for what's best for me and my son. Like you said, we're stronger together than we could ever be apart. You know, I always thought that you cared for the family, JR. That's what kept our relationship going, despite everything else. Last time you moved in here, I said some pretty harsh things to you. I said family meant nothing to you. And I said that it does. And don't you ever forget how much your daddy loves you. Please believe that JR's last act was an act of love for his family and for you. You're not doing Emma any favors by believing her lies. Being a mother is about doing the hard things, even though she may hate you for it. 
You're falling down a long, dark hole. When it happened to me, there was no one there to catch me. But I'm here. And I'm strong enough for both of us. I want you to find my sister. 